Hello everybody, and welcome to a Fundamental Games game playthrough of Hunted by Gabe Barrett. This is a tabletop simulator adapted version of his print and play game, so it's not currently available for sale, but it will be going on to Kickstarter in October. Uh, in this game, you're playing in kind of an action movie-esque sequence. I'm sure you'll recognize some of the locations and um, things that happen in the game from a highly recognized movie. Um, but we're just going to talk about the game. So it's your wife Sharon's birthday. You decided to surprise her at work with some roses and that expensive chocolate she's always craving. Your marriage has been in a bit of a rough spot lately and you were hoping today would be a bit of a turning point. Little did you know that as you rise, arrived at Kobayashi Tower, a group of terrorists were securing the building and rounding up everyone inside as hostages. You managed to elude them, but your wife has been taken and is somewhere in the building. Now you'll have to work your way through the skyscraper, take out the terrorists, and rescue your wife while the terrorists try to hunt you down. In the game of Hunted, you are playing as a solo s sequence game. You're going to have a player board, you're going to have uh, start the game with a handgun with four bullets represented by dice and three ammunition clips which you can reload your gun. Um, you're going to have a certain amount of time to play this game recorded on this player board track um, and many things in the game will impact your time as indicated on this uh, player reference card that we have here. Um, you're going to be going through a set of locations and I'll walk through how we set that up and you're going to have all kinds of events and terrorists that are going to uh, impact the game. So I'm not going to describe everything in detail um, beforehand, but as we play through I'll explain what's happening. Uh, but basically the premise of the game is to get from the bottom of the tower up to the roof to rescue your wife and save her from Lars. And Lars is kind of the big bad guy there. So let's get started. To begin we take two location cards at random. So we shuffle these up, take two, And then we're going to put in the roof card, throw that in, shuffle that up. We're going to put the location deck, the other 12 cards on top, and then we're going to have that as our location deck. So we use all the cards, but the roof is randomly located in the bottom three cards. So we may find the roof in the third, um, second, or final card of the game. We get our gun with our four bullets. We have an action card, which is a box of chocolates, allowing us to do a reroll and we begin this game. Um, we'll shuffle up this deck so you know everything is random and let's cue some action music and get this game started. All right. So first off, what do we do each turn? Well each turn we have a number of, um, we have two options we can take. We can either um, hide, which we can't do right now, so I'll show you that later, or we can draw a card. Or at any point in the game, um, you can use things from your hand or fire your gun. So we are going to start the game off by drawing a card and putting it into the play area. So that'll be this row here as the play area. And when you reveal a card, uh, different things can happen and they have different icons on them. So you can see here on the left hand side, there on the top left, there is a bell icon. If you get two of those, and there's a terrorist in this play area, they're going to attack you. Then below that there's up to three icons and those are um, ways to activate other cards. So at any point I can discard a card from this row to get that icon towards another card. On the top right of the card there is an um, icon indicating what kind of card this is. So in that case that's a uh, equipment card or um, a weapon ammunition kind of card. It can go in your backpack. Um, or in your equipment row and be used at any time. And the bottom right of the card is how much it costs to actually acquire that card. So while it's in the row, if I discard any two other cards for those magnifying glass icons, then I can obtain this card and put it into my uh, supply. And then in the center of the card you can see a, a symbol there that's an eight-sided die and a one. And the way the grenade works is you will roll that die and deal that much damage. So. That's the first card revealed, that's my first turn of the game. And then I keep taking turns, so can I do anything on this turn? Not really. Uh, my next turn, flip over a card, and we found an action card. So this has to be played immediately, uh, hence the exclamation point up there. And it says I have to do a test. 
succeed and I gain a time, fail and I have to fight a level 3 terrorist. So when um, you can see on your player board you have a certain amount of health and your health indicates how many dice you have for skill tests. So for this test I have three dice so I get to roll all three of these and as long as I roll a four on one of them I succeed. I did not roll a four on one of them so I now have to fight a terrorist that has three attack power. So that means I have to fire my gun to survive. If I don't have any bullets, I'm dead, but if I don't shoot it, I die. So I have to defend myself against this terrorist with ammunition. So in order to fight, I have to choose how many bullets I want to fire each round of combat. Uh, and I have to do that before I roll. So I might roll one right now, knowing that I have a 50% chance of winning. Actually, 66% um, chance, because I only have to get a three or higher. Um, so I'm just going to pick one die. I'm going to roll it, and I failed. If I fail, I am going to take a point of damage on my health bar, and that bullet is gone. I'm still going to take a risk, and I'm going to do that again for the next round, battling this terrorist. I have a 5, so I've defeated the terrorist that's represented on this card, and this will go to the discard pile. That's that turn. On to the next turn. I'm going to draw a card again. We found another grenade. Um, again, it would give me a, a shoe icon if I acquire... Or, discarded it, but I don't have anything I can do with that right now, so we'll keep on going. Draw a card. Got another one. Draw a card. Got another one. Uh, this is another test card, so I have to do a test for if I succeed, I can search for uh, radio. So let's roll these up. And we succeeded. So it says here, search the deck or discard pile for a radio. Add it to your inventory. So I'm going to take a search find myself the radio. There's, I think, a couple of them in the deck, but they do the same thing. So let's uh, find out. Oh, there's that radio. And so what it says is I put that radio in my inventory. So I, that goes in my inventory row here. And then I shuffle the deck again. And then this goes to the discard pile. So if we read the radio, I can use this at any time. I can discard it to draw three cards, and if there is any terrorists, discard them, and then reshuffle the rest. So, um, I'm going to save that card for later. So now I draw a card. Oops. Uh, I have no reason to hide right now because there's no terrorist present and not enough bells. So now we can see I have two bell icons, which means if a terrorist showed up, it would fight me right away because I'm being too noisy or sounding off too many alerts. Um, and this is a door. So if I use this door on the top right, you can see there's a map icon. That means I get to reveal cards from the location deck. But in order to open this door, I need a key. And I've got nothing that can give me a key right now. So I'm kind of in a bit of a tough spot. So I could hide, and all of these would go in the discard pile. Oh. Sorry, I have to backtrack a moment. I fired my gun twice. Um, each time I fire my gun, my time goes down because it's taking time to battle these guys. Um, anytime you fire a weapon, anytime you reload, anytime an event tells you to, or anytime you hide, your timer goes down. And so if you run out of time, um, chances are Lars has killed your wife or gotten away without ever, whatever dastardly deeds he's up to. All right. And this is where we get to a press your luck scenario, because if I hid, I would be safe, hide all these cards, and I know I wouldn't have to fight a terrorist. If I don't hide and I reveal a terrorist, I'll have to fight them. But if I don't hide and it's not a terrorist, all these resources might get to be used. So I'm going to take a risk, press my luck, and draw this card. And what we found was a hallway. A hallway can acquire a key if I discard it, or I can activate the hallway for a boot. So what I'm going to do right now is discard this grenade that gives me a shoe on the left side and that shoe... no my apologies I'm going to discard this hallway which gives me the key icon and that key icon I can use to open this door on the bottom right I activate the door when I activate the door on the top right it shows I get two location cards revealed and I get to choose which one I want to apply to which which way I'm going to go so I can go to the office, which will have a test and let me get a distraction card, or I can go to the construction zone, and uh, if I succeed, I can uh, eliminate a terrorist card. So I am going to go to the uh, test five, test five, so they're basically the same, lose two time, 
fail and take two damage. I'm going to get rid of Construction Zone. And that actually goes out of the game, so I'm one step closer to winning the game. Uh, now I'm going to do my test. I still have three dice, so we're going to roll those. I think I need a new mouse, people. We failed. So if we fail in the office, we lose two time. All right. That's not as bad as two damage, in my opinion, so that's okay. And then we're kind of in the office, but that card doesn't matter anymore. So we'll just put that aside, and we'll continue on with the game. I'm going to keep drawing cards here. Um, again, I don't see a reason to hide right now. I've only got one bell and no terrorists. So here we have a machine gun. It takes two search icons, which I don't have to get the machine gun. So we'll keep on going. And we found our first terrorist. So this terrorist is not active yet because there's not two bells and there's not two terrorists. But if I draw either a card with a white bell or a terrorist, I'm going to be under attack. So I could decide to hide right now and get rid of all of this, or I could risk it and draw more cards. No. Um, terrorist has a hostage icon on it. Can't recall what that one does. Um... We will, we're going to hide, show you that. So when you hide, you grab all these cards, group them together, and put them in the discard pile, and lose one time. But what that does is it sets you up for safety, because now there's nothing that can attack me this turn. So I'll keep on drawing, if my mouse will work. Good, another hallway. Yeah. That one's kind of neat. It gives me a magnifying glass and a shoe. I'm going to keep on going. Oh, I found a hallway there. So, that one needs a key to open. That one needs two boots. That one needs two boots. I don't have enough to activate any of those. So we're going to keep on going. Uh, that one needs a key to open as well. But if I get rid of these two hallways, I will have two magnifying glasses. Or sorry, two boots. So let's do that. Let's just keep on. As much as I don't want to lose these doors, I don't want to find a terrorist either. So I'm going to sacrifice both of these for two boots. And use those two boots to open the hallway with the white bell. So that I have one less icon to worry about. Now when you go down a hallway, you can see there I just get one location card. So I don't get to choose. So I found the surveillance room. I can lose a time to draw the top three cards. Discard one, put one on the bottom of the deck, and put one on top of the deck. That's a fair deal to me. So I'm going to draw three cards. And I get to choose one for the bottom, top, and um, discard pile. Mm -hmm. So let's... Uh, We're going to take the distraction on top. We're going to put the door on the bottom. There we go. And we're going to put the hallway in the discard pile. So we know that's on top. So that was a surveillance room. Kind of that's where I am in the game right now. Uh, we'll draw this, put that into play. So now I've got a hallway and. Uh, I wanted to acquire the distraction I could, to, and I could use it at any time to re-roll a die. But I can't acquire it right now. Found another walkie-talkie. We'll keep that there, maybe. Yeah. yeah, we don't have two boots that we can activate the hallway with, so... We'll keep on going. Up the tower. So here we've got a bunch of bad guys. Now because I have two bells, we're going to have our first actual encounter. So these get grouped together when I have those two bells because there's a terrorist. And these go in the discard pile. Then I must fight this terrorist. Now you see this terrorist has three uh, numbers there, two, three, and five. So I have to fight all three of them. So what am I going to do? I'm going to roll both of these dice before I... Um, before I reload my weapon here, so I'll show you how that works after. 
So I take these two dice. Again, my mouse is faulty. Give them a roll. We have a four and a three. So what I get to do is um, knock out a three and a two, because I can knock out anything that was four or less with those. With the first one, anything three or less with the second one. So even though I couldn't beat the five this time around, um, I know that the first two are taken out. So now all I have left is the five to fight, but I still take a damage because I didn't defeat them. As you can see I'm down to four health now. Uh, but I have no bullets, so I have to use an ammunition token to reload my gun, and I get all four dice back. So now I'm fighting a guy that I need a five to beat. I'm going to take two dice, I'm going to shoot two bullets this time, and fire them for this round. I failed. I'm going to use my box of chocolates to re-roll any number of dice I just rolled. Might be early in the game to do that, but I want to survive. So take these dice, re-roll, and we have now defeated him. So we, we survived that guy. Um, now, keep in mind that I've now shot twice, so I should lose two more time. Easy to forget that one. All right, so we're still alive. Got two bullets left. Um, I'm gonna use this walkie-talkie here. So what it says is, discard to draw three cards. If any are terrorists, discard them. Reshuffle the rest. So maybe it won't help me immediately, but it will help me as I get through the deck to get rid of terrorists. Oh wow. So this says, discard them. Oh, I would have had all these coming up, so thankfully that walkie-talkie alerted me and I could hear what they were up to and avoid them. Alright, next turn. Found a hallway. Needs a boot to activate. I'm going to activate this door, or use that door to activate this hallway to go to my next location. Dun, 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 dun. Where are we going to end up now? We found the supply room. I can lose a time to draw four cards. If any of them are an item, you may put it into your inventory. Shuffle all other cards back into the deck. So I think um, from what I recall, that means draw up to four cards. I'm going to draw cards until I reveal an item if it's in the top four cards. So I have to lose a time to do that, and I think that's worth it. So I'm down to ten time. And if I can set my board up right. And so we will... Draw the first card, is it an item? Nope. Second card, is it an item? Nope. Third card, is it an item? Nope. Fourth card, is it an item? Nope. Um, it says shuffle all other cards back into the deck. So uh, I didn't get anything out of that dealio, but at least I got to randomize the deck. We're out of the supply room, still moving on. All right, keep on going. Found a grenade. Terrorist and one bell. Mm, I'm gonna hide. Hide, hide, hide. So I group all these together. Plop these in here. Lose that time. And keep on going. We have a terrorist. That's fine. We have a door. Can't discard a terrorist for anything, mind you. Um, yeah. We'll keep on going. So we've got one bell. I discard that for a boot, but I can't use anything for a boot. I could acquire that with a magnifying glass. I'm going to do that. So we're going to discard this door to get this in my inventory. So now I have ammo, and what ammo does is it refills your handgun ammo. So once I use these clips, I could use it to get all three clips back, which is pretty cool. I'm going to keep on looking. We test four, if I fail, take two damage. There's a detonation. Now notice that I'm down to four health, so now I only get two dice. I rolled a six, so I succeeded, which means nothing happens at least. We'll keep on going. Oh, roll again. Need a four, got a four. If you succeed, gain a key token, fantastic. That will come in handy, because um, many of those doors require a key token. Keep on going. 
We've got two terrorists. Oh, this one's bad. This one's bad. So what happens is the lowest guy goes away and I have to fight the biggest guy. So I kind of put myself in a bad spot here. Um, before I fight them, I'm actually going to use a clip because I'm worried about my health. So I use that clip. I'm back up to four bullets and I'm going to shoot all four bullets. Mm. So I have a five, a four, and a three. I took them out in one shot, uh, but I do lose a time for that. So I don't lose a time for each bullet, but I do lose a time for firing my gun. So that guy's gone. Um, I'm going to use another ammo clip to reload my dice. So I'm back up to four dice again. Here we go. And we'll continue on. No reason to hide. Let's keep on moving. Got a hallway. So we could use this key to get in that door. So we use up this key token. I go in that door and I get two more locations. One, two, and get to choose one and discard the other. So I can go to the bathroom or go to the nurse's station. Ooh, uh, definitely going to the nurse's station. I could use that health. Um, so I can lose a time to heal two health, just one time in the game. So one, get back up to six health for two time, down to six time, which is a bit painful, but I guess we'll find out later on if that was worth it. All right, keep on moving. How many cards are left on the location deck? Nine, so we're getting closer to the end. Uh, this hallway needs a boot. That's a magnifying glass. No bells, so it's still safe. So we crawl through this tower, we found a flashlight, which I can't use to trigger anything, but I could uh, get rid of this to get the flashlight. Let's do that. So we use that for the magnifying glass to acquire the flashlight. The flashlight says I can discard this to draw three cards, and if I find a hostage, put it in my inventory. I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to discard this and draw three cards. And as long as I find one hostage, it goes in my inventory. No hostage. That's okay. Let's go back here. Shuffle this deck back up. Continue with my game. Oh. Yeah, we're going to use this med kit this icon for the boot to travel in this hallway and go up another location. Now you'll notice um, when you go on a location, you actually don't use time, which is good. Found the stairwell. I must immediately draw three cards. If any of them are terrorists, it attacks you, but only the first one. So you draw up to three cards. No terrorist. No terrorist. There's that hostage. No terrorist. Whew. Shuffle all other cards back into the deck. That's good. Stairwell over here, getting closer, keep on moving. A hostage. A hallway needs two boots, but gives a key. So we've got two things that give keys. Test five, I'm back up to three dice, so we'll take that back. Roll these dice, and we have a six. So we pass the test, we don't fail. That just goes over there. Let's keep on moving. You know what? I should probably hide. I've got two bells, not much going on. Nah. Let's see what happens. Ooh, a grenade that could give me a boot, but I need two boots. I can't get two boots. I don't have two exclamation points, so we're gonna go again. Ooh, need two boots. No, we're not doing it, but no, can't do that either. So right now, a really tough spot because chances are in this 25 cards I could be drawing a terrorist at any time. But we're going to keep risking it. Here we go. Okay, that one gives a boot. So we could discard the two grenades. I'm going to do that because I just want to get moving to go down this hallway. So we reveal this and we have found the boardroom. Succeed and gain one time. Fail. Search for a hostage game card and remove it from the game. Okay. So let's roll this, see what happens. In the boardroom, I have a five. I've passed, so I 
gain one time. I'll take that. Up to seven time. That's safely made it through the boardroom. We're going to keep on going. I'm not going to hide. Need a search icon to acquire that. That could give me a boot, but I need two boots. Keep on going. Yeah, I see. Let's do that. So we're going to. No. I don't really need the health, so we're just going to keep going. Aha, a boot. So I can get rid of this ammo for the boot to go in this hallway and keep on progressing through the tower. We found the air ducts. Do another test. What's going to happen? We have a 1-2-2. Two, two. We failed. I must fight a level 4 terrorist immediately. So for level 4 terrorist, I'm going to choose to roll two dice out of my four bullets. I'm going to lose a time to shoot my gun at this terrorist. So I'm back down to six. Roll these dice. And we failed, so I take a damage. I'm going to roll my other two dice. Oops. Locking that down again. All right, here we go. Roll. Level four, so we beat the level four terrorist, but I'm down to five time. I'm running out of time. Okay. And I'm all out of ammo. I used all four bullets and I have no clips left, so I'm going to use this to get my ammo clips back, all three of them. My handgun goes completely to full. And my four bullets as well. So it's like I got a brand new gun. Yeah. Uh, oops, what did I do there? Oh, that goes up there. All right. So I've got one bell. I'm going to keep moving. Two bells, but if I had a boot, I could discard it to go in the hallway. I don't. Shucks. Uh, we'll keep going. Ah, this guy you can get with two magnifying glasses, but he's also got a key. And still, all these great cards, but nothing to do with them. Alright, we're going to make a decision. Discard this to acquire this med kit. Just in case. And then, we're going to hide. So group these together. I'm worried there's enemies around the corner. Uh, lose a time. Keep on going. There's a terrorist. I could hide again or risk that there's not a terrorist around the corner. We're going to risk it. Okay. I'm going to risk it again. Keep on running. Aha. So I can use this boot to get this or this magnifying glass to get this. I'm going to discard that because my goal is to get to the end. So we draw the next location card. We found the hotel room. You can lose the time to draw the top three cards, put them back on top of the deck in any order. I'm going to choose not to do that. Whoops. I'd rather lose my time to get rid of the terrorist. Um, which I'm going to do right now. Hide away. Terrorist goes away and we continue on. Flashlight. Hallway. Needs a boot. Got a boot, let's do it. Discard that, activate that, and we are in the elevator shaft. Do a test. We might get some time back. Oops, gotta roll off three of these at the same time. We scored a four, that's a success. Gain a time. Whew! Up to four. Alright, we're almost there. We're, we're getting close. You can probably hear. Screams my wife and Lars. Test five. Roll. Got a six, I passed. I don't take a damage. Whew. Keep on going. Discard to re-roll a die. If it was in my hand. Hostage for a magnifying glass, let's do that. So what is the benefit of a hostage? Well, at least getting it off the play field gets me that bell. And um, you get points for them in solo mode at the end of the game, if you like to track points. 
Um, I've never beaten the game, so I'm just trying to actually beat it once. <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to group these cards because my OCD is kicking in. There. All right, keep on going. Nothing exciting there. Smoke bomb. Hostage. Okay, keep on going. E. Um, keep on going. Card to refill, so I can discard this hostage to get this. Actually, oh yeah, that one gives me a boot, so that doesn't help. So I'll discard the hostage to get the ammo refill card. Then continue with my turn. Next turn, I've got two terrorists, so now I got a fight. Should have hid. My bad. All right. It's got a three and a four, and then the hostage icon. Um, I'm just going to pull up the rule book for a second here. I can't remember what the hostage icon means on a card. Apologies for this delay. All right. Um, multiple terrorists. Key locations. Some terrorists have a hostage icon on their left side. If I take damage from one of those terrorists in a fight and you have a hostage, instead of losing your health cube, discard the hostage from the game. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah, it's good that it protects me, bad that the hostage suffers for me. But you know what? That's the way it goes sometimes. I'm going to roll three dice, lose one time, and see if I take a damage or not. So here we go. Roll. I have a 5 and a 4 and a 3, so this guy dies without killing a hostage. Ooh. But with only 3 time left, might not make it. Uh, keep on going. Okay, we need a key for that one. We don't have a key. We need 2 boots for that one. We don't have 2 boots, so I'll keep on going. Oh, gotta fight. Let's group that together. Get these out of here. Same power of these guys, so fight one terrorist. I'm gonna roll my last die and lose a time. Thankfully I killed him with my lucky roll. But I'm down to two time. It's taking me too long to get to my wife. I'm out of bullets, so I will use an ammo clip. Get those bullets back into my gun. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna use my med kit to get back to my six health, not that it matters right now, but let's do it anyway. And we'll keep on going. Two cards left, gonna have to reshuffle soon. Uh, test four. Okay, I've got three dice, just need a four. We got a four, so I gain two time, that's fantastic. One, two, back up to four. This goes away. I have to draw a card, so I take my discard pile, bring it over here, flip it over, shuffle it up. All right, we'll keep on moving. That guy can give me a key. It'd be nice to open something up that needs a key right now. Be really nice to get that shotgun fired against Lars, but oh, but we're going to use the shotgun actually. Use the shotgun to get in the hallway to grab this location. Found the vault. Test five. Succeed and search the discard pile for any card and add it to your inventory. There's nothing in my discard pile. That's a shame. All right, so we passed. Search the discard pile for any, ooh, maybe it is good. Any card and add it to my inventory. There's my shotgun. 
actually that worked out very well. So first time I've gotten an upgraded weapon in this game. How does that work? Well, I cannot use two weapons at once, but I can put this weapon into play. Um, and immediately I gain two D10s and two clips for it. So even though I still have my handgun, I can't fire both in the same round of combat. But I really like the fact that I got this thing. These two dice will bring over here. And um, yeah, that's in play now. Fantastic. We'll keep on going. Here we need uh, two boots. Not cool. Here we need one boot. Don't have any. Uh, I'm going to hide. Put these away. Why did I do that? Because there's too many bells and not too much risk there. Down to three time. Grenade. V. Oh, no good, no good. One sec. Alright, so um, we have a boot. Discard to go in this hallway. And what are we gonna find? The roof! If you defeat Lars, you win. Alright, so we are at the end. And I have a shotgun to battle off against Lars. Now, I've only got a couple time left, so gotta make these hit count. So I will fire both bullets and use one time. We have a 7 and a 2, so we've hit him once, and he hits me once. So we're down to 5 health, but I also used a time. My 2 time. I'm going to fire him again. Oopsie. Grab these two dice. Come on. Oh, I would have to use an ammo clip for that. So I have rolled... A 9 and a 4, that will beat his uh, other two numbers there. So that is a victory with one time left. Health of 5. Lars gets a shotgun, narrowly avoiding my wife. She's pretty good at dodging bullets. She is the wife of an action hero after all. And um, we survived this game, getting a shotgun right at the end. We have one hostage. We've got a little bit of ammo. Now let's determine... Uh, there is a scoring system for this, so... While we're at it, let's just pull up that scoring system. Um, and we'll wrap it up. So at the end here, we have two points for every health you have left, so 10 points there. One point for every time unit you have left, so up to 11 points. It's three for every hostage, so I'm up to 14, 14 points for this game. And there you have it. That is a game of Hunted. Kobayashi Tower by Gabe Barrett. Um, so we'll go over three of the things I like the most about this game. First off, it's non-stop. Um, everything you do is progressive, whether it's drawing a card or hiding or using equipment, um, activating action cards, etc. It, it's all non-stop. You just keep on going so you feel um, like you're never going backwards um, and your deck progresses that way too. Uh, same as a location deck. Second part is the theme. So I always feel like I am worried about what's gonna happen uh, on so many levels. I'm worried about my health. I'm worried about my time. I'm worried about running out of bullets. I'm worried about terrorists. I'm worried about them killing hostages, taking away my points. Um, so just a lot of uh, concern over what's gonna happen and rightly so. You're in an action movie. Uh, you should be scared. And then the third thing is the visuals. So uh, there's not many games out there that really rely on um, uh, just a couple of colors, black not really being a color, so blue and white and black as the, the scheme um, just really uh, keeps keeps you feeling like you're in the dark in the shadows trying to hide. Um, it's kind of that, um, that gloomy twilight experience climbing up the tower in the dark, much like that classic movie um, that this scheme obviously pays a lot of homage to. So congratulations to Gabe Barrett, he's getting quite a few good playtester reviews on this game, and hopefully you give it a try and like it.
There's a free tabletop simulator version available. There's a free print and play version that he's got on his site. And I'm sure if you want the real thing, it'll come to Kickstarter in October. Thanks for watching.